Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned his 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And I just want to get into a few scriptures prophesying against Mount Seir and pinpointing and targeting the devil that the Bible speaks of, who is none other than Esau, Edom, the so called white man. So, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the first scripture I want to get into was the book of Revelations. The sixth chapter and the fourth verse, and it reads, And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. Who was this red horse? Huh. Or be none other than Esau Edom, the so called white man. And we can prove that if we go to the book of Genesis. The 25th chapter. And uh, I'll start at verse 24. The book of Genesis chapter 25. And the 24th verse and it reads. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled. Whose days? Rebecca. You see? Isaac's wife. You know, she had Jacob and Esau twins. You know, Jacob would be, you know. A so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And Esau would be none other than the so-called white man. Alright? And it reads, Behold, there were twins in her womb. Right? Jacob and Esau. Right? Who came out first? Verse 25. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. And they called his name Esau. You see? And I'll be none other than Esau Edom. The so-called white man, he came out red. You see? <laughs> and this is that red horse that's being spoken of in the book of Revelations. And we're going to further prove that. And power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. <laughs> You're right. Power was given to this man. That's why scripture says... The, the earth was given into the hand of the wicked, man. Was that Job 9 and 24? You see? <laughs> and we also know that the end of the world is going to be while Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, is in rulership. According to what is that? Second edge is the sixth chapter. You see? Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. You see? <laughs> and this man has done nothing but take peace from the earth. This devil has raped, robbed, and pillaged, shot and stabbed his way into a wicked position of power, man. You see? And it reads, And that they should kill one another. And these Edomites did kill one another, man, during World War I. And World War II, you see, that was that was Edomite on Edomite crime, man. Huh? You see, and there was given unto him a great sword, right? <laughs> His blessing, whose blessing was the sword? Let's go back to the humble beginnings, man. Let's go back to Genesis, the twenty-seventh chapter. And I'll start at the I'll start at the 38th verse and it reads The book of Genesis chapter 27 and verse 38 and it reads And Esau said unto his father Has thou but one blessing my father Bless me Bless me even me Also O my father Now this is after uh, 
Jacob has supplanted this devil. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept, right? He was crying like a little, you know, continuing on. Verse, 30, verse 39, and Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. And this devil has full power as we see today, man. <laughs> you know? This man has control over the over the substance of the earth, man. You know, the the resources. You know, this man has, you know, <laughs> dominion over the airspace. You see? This devil's he he's the one putting sanctions on other nations if they don't comply. You know? But those days are coming to an end, man. This man is languishing. And his power is diminishing, man. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is taking this man's wisdom from him. You see? Continuing on. Verse 40. And by thy sword, here's my point, shalt thou live. This man lives by the sword. You see? <laughs> he also gonna die by it, man. He's also going to die by it and shall serve thy brother and it shall come to pass when thou shall have the dominion that thou shall break his yoke from off thy neck. Right. Because he was in he was in uh, subjection to Jacob during the time of the dark ages, man. Jake was in power, man. But these devils don't teach that information, man. You know, that's why they call it the dark ages, man. That's when Jake was in the position of power. <laughs> You see? But they try to mask that history, man. You know? They try to sweep it under the rug. You know, that's what these devils are good for, man. They're good for, they're good for hiding information. You know? <laughs> but this is the same devil that has been wreaking havoc all over the planet Earth, man. Everything this man touches dies, man. That's why scripture said this man, he is as deaf, man. Yeah, let's, let's grab that. Let's go to the book of Habakkuk. Let's go to Habakkuk, the second chapter. In the fifth verse, and it reads, Yeah, also, because he transgresseth by wine, and wine is going into his philosophy, man. You know, his ideologies, his 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 Christianity, you know? <laughs> all his all his falsehood, man. He is a proud man, right? He is a proud man. That's why his pride has deceived him. He that dwelleth in the cliffs of the rock. This man thinks that he is a god, man. But the day's coming that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is gonna make Babylon sit down in the dust, man. That day is coming. Neither keepeth at home, <laughs> right? This man has a, a garrison. And. and, and, and all over the earth, man. This man doesn't keep at home, man. This man's a vagabond. You see? This man's a vagabond. He he has a garrison all over the earth, man. This is who we're talking about. We're talking about Esau, man. Who enlarges his desire as hell and is as death you see that and cannot be satisfied this is this man you see look what he did to so-called native americans man our brother our brother's guy man look what he did to them look what he did to the tribe of god man they were willing to, they were willing to share the land with him 
He said, nah, I don't want to share the land. I want everything. This is what this man did. Continuing on. But gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. Right. And he's done that by stealing, killing, and destroying. <laughs> and Yahweh Shai gave us the heads up on that. Let's grab that. Let's go to the book of John. This is what this man has done. To see the scriptures pinpoint and target this devil, man. That's why he wants to eradicate the Bible, man. Because he knows that the, the scriptures single him out. You know? It describes him huh, from face value all the way down to his mindset, man. Let's go with this John real quick. 10. I'm going to go straight to the point. 10. And it reads, The thief cometh not, and the thief is who? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. But for to steal and to kill and to destroy. And this is what this man has done. This man has stolen all the land he has throughout the whole course of this man's reign of terror. He's been stealing, he's been killing, and he's been destroying, man. Point blank period. Point blank period. Who, 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 <laughs> pretty much, you know, he, he, he committed uh, biological warfare, man, on people, man. This devil uh, dropped an atom bomb on innocent people, man. Huh. You see? This is the same devil that polluted the air, man, and contaminated the water, man. And, and, and splits atoms and smashes them back together so you can enjoy a, a, a seedless grape, man. This is that same devil. Why are you eating GMO and breathing in chemtrails, man? You see? That's why the scriptures say we read it. He is as death. Everything about the so-called white man brings death, man. Everything about this man. You know? Let's continue on. I'm going to start back at, uh, let me talk, let me start from the top. The thief, the book of John chapter 10 and verse 10, and it reads, The thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. And upon you being moved out the way, you know, everything's going to have more life abundantly, man. You see? Because the last enemy to be destroyed is death. And that's you, man. That's the so-called white man, man. <laughs> that's the so-called white man. All, all, you, all you have brought to this earth is death, man. If you weren't destroying the people, you were destroying the land. You destroyed the earth, man, as well. But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is gonna visit you for these things, man. You know what? Let's go to Reve let's go back to Revelations. Let's go to Revelations 11. You're gonna pay for these things, man. Let's go to Revelations 11 in the 18th verse, and it reads: And the nations were angry. Right, they were angry because huh, what they thought in their mind was gonna happen at the end of the game didn't go down the way they thought. You see, because at the end of the day, Yahweh Shah is gonna crack these clouds, deliver his people, starting with the elect. Obviously, he's gonna deliver his elect, Lord willing, with part of that precious elk. <laughs> And all you nations, all 17 of you other heathen nations going to go into captivity, man. And Esau is going to get moved out the way. 
point blank period, man. And the and thy wrath is come in the time of the dead that they should be judged. You see, and the dead's going into everyone outside of this truth. <laughs> and you can and that can be proven in what? That's Proverbs uh the 21st chapter and the 16th verse. Let's grab that real quick and we'll come right back. The book of Proverbs, chapter 21 and verse 16, and it reads, The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding, what understanding? The understanding of the scriptures, man. The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of this word through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai shall remain in the congregation of the dead. You see? And that's where all these heathen nations are, and two thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, a Native American, man. Let's go back to Revelations. Continuing on, I'm going to start from the top, the book of Revelations, chapter 11, verse 18. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, in the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints. And them that fear thy name. You see that? Huh. Small and great. And here's the point. And should is destroy them which destroy the earth. And who's destroying the earth? <laughs> Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. That's who's that's who's destroying the earth. But the day's coming that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to lift this captivity huh, that's resting upon the children of Israel, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And he's going to move Esau Edom out of the way, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to break this man's staff, man. Let's, let's, let's wrap up in, um, in, uh, Let's go Isaiah. Let's go Isaiah, the 14th chapter. And I'm going to start, I'll start at the third verse. Verse 6 is my point. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14, and verse 3, and it reads, And this shall come to pass. Oof, and it shall come to pass in the day. What's that talking about? That's prophecy, man. You see? And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve, who serve in hardcore captivity to this day. It will be us so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The children of Israel, man. You see? The first fired. The last hired. You see the bottom of the totem pole, man. You see? That will be us, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is coming to lift our captivity. Let's continue on. Verse 4, 144. Kahalayim la Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Book of Isaiah chapter 14 verse 4 And it reads That thou shalt take up this proverb Against the king of Babylon And who's the king of Babylon? Which would, this would be spiritually Babylon Mystery Babylon the great Spiritually Solomon, Solomon Egypt It will be Esau Edom the so called white man He's the king of Babylon man You see? And say How had the oppressor ceased the golden city ceased. You see, and this day is coming, man. Verse 5. The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked. You see? Huh. The wicked being Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. And the scepter of the rulers, man. All you nations are going to be taken out. Huh. By the power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You are going to be visited by Allah Shadia 
a demon-like power. You see? There's no hope. There's no hope for you, for you heathen, man. Your day's coming. Continuing on. Verse 6, and here's the point. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. Who did that? Huh. Who did that? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. His history testifies against him, man. His history testifies against him that he has done these things. He that ruled the nations in anger. <laughs> and we know he's done that. You know, once again, he'll drop a bomb on the nation. If they don't comply. You see, he'll set sanctions on them. But now uh, this is the time where these other nations have become strong, man. You see. And it's all through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Shemiah was shot, man. <laughs> Because biblical prophecy will be fulfilled. The third woe will come to pass, man. Is persecuted and none hindereth, man. So your persecution is coming, man. You're going to be able to persecute the men, women, and children and families of the Lord. But guess what? I ain't gonna, that's not the end all be all, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to persecute you. You see? You will be visited by the highest power conceivable in his only begotten son, man. Yahweh Shai is going to crack these clouds on that fathership. He's going to be with the host of angels, man. The host of heaven. <laughs> the day of doom is drawing near and it's going to rest upon you so-called white people, man. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Your judgment is coming, man. You're going to have to pay for all your wrongdoing. And there's no escape. But that's pretty much the point, Aki Aminakwa. I just wanted to bring that out real quick through the spirit. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwath were edified. Barakata Yahawah. Barakata Yahawah Shai. Barakata Yahawah. Barakata Yahweh Shai Barakata Yahweh Barakata Yahweh Shai Kal Halalim La Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash Shalawam Akiyam <laughs>